Hey, what's up guys? So today I got a quick tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to create your own LUT in uh, Photoshop and then use it in Final Cut Pro. So let's get right into it. All right, so I got my project here. It's finished already. It's uh, color corrected. And what I want to do is add a creative LUT. The way that I do it is that I, I'm going to export six frames out of this video and import it to Photoshop, then create my LUT and then import it to Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to use different spread of frames to export. So the first frame is going to be this one. Let's say black export this frame. I'm going to create a new folder, LUT tutorial, and I'm going to name it one. The next frame is going to be this one. I'm going to name it two. So the key is that you want to export different kind of frames, like different lighting conditions, uh, frame with people in it, uh, drone shots, uh, you know, just different kind of frames. Or uh, I want a drone shot. That's a drone shot. Parfait. Five. And the last one. And this one. Sorry for that. Where was I? Okay, so now I'm done exporting all my frames. The next step is I'm going to go to Photoshop, create a new document, and then import all of these frames. Whoops. I'm going to speed this up because it takes some time and it's boring. All right, so now I have my six frames. Uh, what you want to do is select the first one and Go to adjustment layers and then this is where you let your creativity flow and flourish. I'm gonna choose level first and I'm gonna hit alt and drop the highlights. Good. Uh, hit alt also for the shadows. Perfect. And the midtones. Next I'm gonna add a curve and you just drop the shadows and raise the highlights. That special S-curve that everyone talks about. Et voila. Before, after. Good. After that, I'm going to go to solid color. I love to give my special teal and orange look. So uh, for the highlights, for the highlights, I'm going to put some orange like this. Double click and remove shadows so that it only applies to the highlights click on alt to separate them and this is going to feather them et voila click on ok drop the opacity to like 20 maybe 16 percent perfect and add the solid color this time it's going to be for the shadows i'm going to choose a till double click remove the highlights hit alt that's perfect. Drop the opacity to 12%. Perfect. Next, another curve. And drop a little bit the shadows. Perfect. I'm going to go and create a black and white filter and choose hard light or soft light. Hard light. Drop the opacity to 15. Perfect. And then selective color. This is where the magic happens. Uh, I'm not going to touch on the red because um, mostly the skin tones lies in the red channel. So I'm not going to touch on the red. Um, the yellows. Yes, I want to play with the like, yellows a little bit. You see how much different they look? Like my greens are shifting now to yellow. So I love this. Here. See what's fine with having all these frames is that the slight adjustment that I, that I make, I can see what it's going to recreate in all of my film. So this is why I use uh, different frames. Good. Magenta, usually I don't touch with magenta. White, maybe just on the blacks. Mm. 
that neutral I don't usually touch neutral unless no I don't touch neutral blacks I love to put some color in the blacks okay so I'm done I did that really fast just to show you how to do it but you, you can please take your time and do it as you like so once you're done you're gonna click on your first frame hit shift click on your last frame and right click and merge layers then you select your background and you export uh, then you click on color lookup table make sure uh, all these two are uh, checked give it a name dot tuto dot tuto okay and then you go to final cut you make an adjustment layer on top of everything and you make sure all your timeline is selected you drop a custom lot onto that adjustment layer and then you go ahead and you choose your LUT that you just created. Open. Et voila! This is the look it's gonna give to your, to your, um, to your film. But the thing is that it's too intense, so you can drop the, the, the opacity of it. Usually I will go to 70%. So you know, do you like that? This is the before. Oh, sorry this is before after before after i really love it i hope you do too but anyways I, I did that really fast just take your time and what's cool with this is that you're gonna keep your lot like whatever film you're doing you can try to apply this lot into your film if you don't like it then create another one so yeah this was the tutorial thank you for watching take care guys bye